I'm ready. Okay. I need. I think I need a pillow. Okay, I'm good. Had we but world enough and time, Why is your name this coyness lady were no crime. We would sit down and think which way to walk and pass our long love's day. Thou, by the Indian Ganges side, shouldst rubies find. I, by the tide of Humber, would complain. I would love you ten years before the flood, and you should, if you please, refuse till the conversion of the Jews. My vegetable love should grow vaster than empires and more slow. How will we and love to And hundred years should go to praise thine eyes and on my forehead gaze. <laughs> Two hundred to adore each breast, but thirty thousand to the rest. An age at least to every part, but the last age should show your heart. <laughs> For lady, you deserve this state, nor would I love at lower rate. But at my back I always hear time's winged chariot hurrying near and yonder all before us lie deserts of vast eternity. Thy beauty shall no more be found, nor in thy marble rock shall sound thy echoing song. Then worms shall try that long preserved virginity, <laughs> and your quaint honour turn to dust and into ashes all my lust. <laughs> the graves are fine in private place, but none I think do there embrace now therefore. While thy youthful hue sits on thy skin like morning blue, and while thy willing soul transpires at every pore with instant fires. Now let us sport us while we may, and now, like amorous birds of prey, rather it wants our time devour than languish in this slow chat path. <laughs> let us roll all our strength and all our sickness <laughs> up into our own ball and tear our pleasures with rough strife <laughs> through the iron gates of life. Thus, though we cannot make time stand still yet, we will make him <laughs> run. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's through the iron gates oh, of life. Yeah, it's <laughs>